Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Owais and I'm welcome to this video of Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about getting user input from console. I'll be making a simple addition and subtraction tutorial in this video as well. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I have a main class here. So how to get input from the console. So let me add another class here. Sorry, we need to add another package here called imp scanner. So I'm going to import Java dot util dot scanner and you need to type semicolon at the end so now let's use that scanner class right so let's add a few things here so let me use scanner right and then i'm going to name variable scan okay is equal to new which is a keyword and then scanner again and then here you need to type system dot in so if you type system.out, it's going to print out to the console. So we need input from the console. So that's why I'm using system.in. All right, semicolon at the end. So we have created our set, uh, scanner class now. So now let's add some variables. So int, I'm going to add x with comma and y. So now we have two variables, x and y. So now let's me add uh, a message to the console. I'm using s out and I'm going to type enter your first value okay and now i'm going to use x okay which is an int variable is equal to scan which is the variable name of the scanner all right and then i'm going to use dot next int so the reason why i'm using next int is because that's an integer value uh, variable not a float not a double not a string, right? So I'll, I'll show you how to use the strings and double as well in a second. All right, so we have got X. So now I'm going to S out to the console with to enter second value, okay? And then we're going to use Y variable, same as X, scan dot next int with a semicolon. So these two uh, variables will be asked for a value on the console. So let's run this program. Okay, now it's asking me to enter the first value and we type 2 and then the second value 2, right? So the, 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 the program basically finished there. So now I'm going to add another variable here. I'm going to add result. So let me type a, uh, the data type as well. So Java is a uh, data type streaking language. So all you have, every time you declare a variable, you need to type a data type as well. So let me use int result is equal to in the parentheses i'm going to do x plus y okay and with the semicolon at the end now i'm going to print it out to the console so let's use s out again and then this is the result right semicolon let's give a space here semicolon and plus operator for the concatenation and then use result right let's run this now okay now I'm going to type 6 and 4 the result should be 10 as you can see that the result is 10 now so let's make a bit more complex program here so I'm going to get rid of this line here and let's say I get rid of this line as well so now we have two variables X and Y I'm asking their values from the console okay so now let's ask for a few more things here. So I'm going to add another variable. I'm going to type string variable. Okay. I'm going to name it operation. Okay. Is equal to, I'm going to use scan class and then dot next. Okay. This is going to be a string class now. Okay. So before that, I'll have to ask for the operator. So I'll use s out enter the operator okay that's fine all right so down here what we do now we're going to ask for operator there so i'm going to use the logical sorry conditional statement now so if for parentheses operator dot equals to a string because as you know the operator is a string value so i'm going to ask string so it's plus then add a code block and then print s out for printing out 
this is the addition result okay and then use plus operator for concatenation and then type type uh, let's say we can do parentheses again x plus y okay done done semicolon done okay and now we're going to add else statement else if operation equals to minus then I'm going to add another code block here with the braces here and I'm going to add s out for printing out to the console and this is the subtraction result result okay and then add your plus for concatenation and then in the parentheses say x minus y okay with the semicolon and then maybe add another code block sorry net another else statement let's say else if operation dot equals it's a method it's a method for operation variables so we can use that i've shown you that uh, methods how to find them from the java documentation so if you don't know about this you need to uh, watch my previous videos so equals i'm going to add a string which is going to be a asterisk so let's add another code block here so i'm going to type s out for printing out this is the multiplication okay use the plus operator for concatenation and then say in a parenthesis x asterisk y done okay now let's add another one here okay so else if operation dot equals in the double quotes with because the string goes in a double quotes forward slash right I'm going to add a code block here again, s out, add double quotes for the string values. So I'm going to, this is the division. Okay, plus for the concatenation again, and then in the parentheses, x forward slash for division, y. Right, that's done. Okay, that's. All right, so let's add a last condition here else. Else okay if else I'm going to add a code block here okay s out and I'm going to type if someone type something else instead of plus minus multiplication as subtraction operators you can just uh, print out this um, okay so I'm going to print it out that enter the correct operation okay so you can print out this message to the console all right so now let's debug this and run the class all right so i'm going to add let's say six and then six for second value and then operator is going to be plus enter so the result is 12 okay so which is i'm going to add a space here this is kind of uh, four operations you can apply. So let's run that program again. And all right, so let's say three minus, sorry, one and then minus operator. Now the result is true. So that was a quick tutorial about getting input from console. And I've shown you some um, if statement as well. But I've got a separate video for complete details how to use if statements. So check that out as well if you want to know about this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.